All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So obviously, we want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation. So I have nine to the power of x is equal to 36. And now, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 36. And an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. In this case, I have log 9 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So this is going to get me x times log 9 is equal to log 36. And this is why logarithms are so important in exponents, because for solving exponential equations, x is an exponent, and we need to bring x down to be a normal term. And the only way we can do that is by using logarithms. Now, obviously I want to isolate x, so I'm going to divide both sides by log 9. So then these two log 9's cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, we want to simplify this as much as we can. So I'm going to rewrite log of 36 as log of 9 times 4. So I'm going to have this over log 9. Now, there are two more logarithmic properties that you guys should know. So the first one is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. And the second one is that if I have something in the form log of a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. Now these two along with log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. These are the three basic logarithmic function uh, equations that everyone should know. Now going back to our problem, we have x is equal to log 9 times 4 over log 9. And as you can see, we can use our first property here. Log a times b is equal to log a plus b on log 9 times 4. So now we get x is equal to log of 9 plus log 4. Now I have this over log 9. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite this fraction as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. All I did was divide log 9 with both of these terms. Now, anything divided by itself is 1. So log 9 and log 9, these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. Now, from here, I'm going to rewrite log 4 as log 2 squared. So I have 1 plus log of 2 squared over log 9, I'm going to rewrite as log of 3 squared. And the reason I did this was because, remember, this property, log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. I can move the 2 to the front on both of these. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 
over 2 log 3. And now I can cancel out these two twos. So if I, if I ever so have something in the form log a to the power of b over log c to the power of b, these two exponents just cancel out. Now, from here, log 2 is equal to 0 0.301, and log 3 is equal to 0 0.477. So I have to just plug these back in into our original equation. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.477. And 0 0.301 over 0 0.477 is 0 0.631. So 1 plus 0 0.631 is 1.631. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by evaluating my terms. So we have 9 to the power of 900 and 9 to the power of 901. And these two terms are pretty similar, except that the exponent for 9 to the power of 900 is 1 less than the exponent for 9 to the power of 901. So the easiest way to solve this <clears throat> is to simplify this as much as we can. And a way to do that is to factor out a term. Well. 9 to the power of 900 is actually a factor of 9 to the power of 901. So all we have to do is rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as something times 9 to the power of 900. Well, we can use property of, properties of exponents to do this. So I'm actually going to rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And now I can use the exponential property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So, now from here, these two terms have the number 9 to the power of 900 in them. So, I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 900, which is what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. So now I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 because 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9. Now 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8 so I get 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. <clears throat> now from here I said I was going to simplify this as much as possible and we can't really get the exact value because 9 to the power of 900 is such a big number that we can't actually get the exact value for that. However, what we can get is the simplified value, and we're going to simplify it as much as possible. So I'm actually going to move this negative sign to the front, so I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8, and this gets me negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. We're simplifying these terms as much as possible. So I'm going to use a quick exponential property. I say set a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n on 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is my final solution to this equation.
Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and even show this to any of your friends and family. That would support me a lot. I have a bunch of other videos similar to these on my channel. And if you're up for any challenges, I have a bunch of those. So please make sure to check them out. And thank you for watching. Bye.